か。<笑><笑><笑><笑>はい、私は Gareth Evans。I am the delivery director for the EMEA region、um, at Presido. Hi, I'm Zoe. So I'm a Salesforce consultant here at Presido. Hello, my name is Bailey Green. I am our marketing cloud principal here at Presido. What I always say to clients is that it doesn't matter how good a system we build for them. If the if the users don't know how to use it and they're not you know and they're not on board and able to adopt、um, the, the the system that we've built, actually all of that all of that goes to waste.、Um, so that's for me that's why training is key because it makes sure that all the hard work that you put in actually gets used by the customer at the end of the day. My tip would be making sure that your use case、um, is used within the training, so making it relevant to the customer. So, however, we've built the platform for them, make the training relevant to that. So then it just makes more sense. The customer will understand why it's being built in a certain way and are trained in a certain way. That will also help them to understand for their business case、um, and then follow through once the training has finished. Yeah, so my tip for training would be、um, make sure that people understand that there's no such thing as a silly question, and、um, it's what I always try to, to tell to all of my clients up front. The only silly question is the one that they don't ask in the training session, and then when it comes to go live, they'll have that question and they, they'll, they'll wish they asked it. Top tip that I'd have is include practical challenges that you're trying to overcome in your training sessions. We as humans are natural problem solvers, so what we tend to look for is solutions to those problems. If in your training it's just theory based, sometimes people won't resonate with that. However, what you can look to do is tailor that training specific to some of the challenges that the business is facing. As a result of this, you'll notice that people will start to pick up the product, the terminology, and its use cases much quicker than if you're just basing training around theory. So my next tip would be to、uh, always remember and to try to sort of put yourselves in the shoes of the users that you're training. Realize that they're, you know, realize that Salesforce can be quite、uh, complex and intimidating for them. Remember how you felt when you first learned Salesforce. My next tip would be making sure that training is really engaging for our customers. There's nothing worse than going through a training session and it being really monotone, boring,、um, and not very interactive. So always make sure that you are engaging with the client, asking questions, keep it an open discussion, and keep the conversation th flowing throughout to show they're listening, engaged, and interested in what you're showing them. Mixing up the training is also a really good way to make sure that people are fully engaged. Sometimes we will do some online remote training, but also go to client offices and provide training in person、uh, with real-life scenarios and hands-on approach to to really get them building in the tool, hands-on, and understanding how it functions. Another top tip of mine is to make sure that training is repetitive but differs slightly. If you're going over the same topics over and over again, people won't develop and they won't learn new skills. So one tip that I would say is that if you have particular use cases, i.e., you're、um, training someone on how to build out a journey, next time you have that next training session, add in a new bit of criteria, whether that's a new entry criteria or a decision split to that particular journey. This will get people engaged and learning new things, but also building their confidence to subjects that have already been covered. And then my next tip for training is make sure that you give lots of time for sort of hands-on training.、Um, I think, as most people know, Salesforce is all about getting your hands dirty and, and actually, you know, doing the the, the tasks and, and and understanding that way. Got there in the end. I think that's good. I think we can wrap that. Great. Okay. <laughs> no, thanks a lot, mate.